Hey, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. I'm adding to the flock today and casting on another You and Me sock. And I'll be demonstrating the figure eight cast on. The figure eight cast on is a double sided cast on, and it works really well for toe up socks, bottom up bags, and top down hats and mittens. Since the cast on is double sided, after you start knitting in the round, you end up with an enclosed end, sort of like the bottom of a toothpaste tube. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you enjoy our videos, consider joining the pack and becoming a member of the chilidog.com for ad-free access to our entire learning library, priority support, and more. The figure eight cast on is usually used for projects that require small circumference knitting, like the toe of my sock. And there are a variety of different needle styles that can be used for small circumference knitting. If you like the magic loop method and work on one long circular needle, you'll start by holding the needles in your left hand with the needle tips pointing to the right. Or if you prefer to cast on using two long circular needles, You'll hold one tip from each needle in your left hand, again with the tips pointing towards the right. Finally, if you prefer to use double pointed needles or flexible double pointed needles like the flexi flips I'm using today, again, you hold the two needles in your left hand with the needle tips pointing towards the right. You want to pinch your yarn in between those two needles and just make sure you have a yarn tail that's long enough to weave in later. The yarn tail is at the front. The working yarn is at the back and then pinch it between the needles. Then we'll wrap the yarn around the needles in a figure eight pattern, starting with the top needle. So I'll wrap around the top and then between the needles and around the bottom needle and between the needles. Then we've cast on two stitches, one on each needle. As you continue making figure eights, you want to make sure that your yarn is snug and your stitches aren't spread apart like this. They need to be very, very close together. If the stitches are spread out, after you're a few rounds in, you're going to need to tighten up your cast on stitches because they will be very loose and sloppy. So you can use your index finger to hold kind of underneath so that you can keep those cast on stitches very close to each other. So now I have two stitches on each needle and I'm gonna continue wrapping in a figure eight first around the back and then around the front, back, front, back, front, back, and front until I've cast on the required number of stitches, which in my case happens to be 12. After casting on, you're ready to knit with your favorite small circumference method. Right now, we are looking at the right side of the fabric. As you begin knitting, the top needle will rotate forward and becomes the front needle. The other one is at the back, and I'm going to slide the stitches on that back needle down to the cord so that they're held out of the way as we begin to knit. Knitting across the first needle looks exactly like you would expect. Be careful on the last stitch that you don't Pull the yarn tail through. You run it for right now to be between the needles.
at the end, I'm going to slide the stitches I just worked down to the cord. We'll rotate so we can work the second half of the round. Again, this tail is still at the front. As we begin the second half of the round, we can move that tail to the back just being careful that as we work the first stitch, we want the working yarn to come around the tail to anchor it in place. We also want to make sure that we knit the stitches on the second half of the round through the back of the loop because they don't have a conventional stitch mount. Usually you would expect to see the leading leg of a stitch at the front, but because of the way we loop the yarn onto the needle while casting on, the leading leg of the stitch is positioned at the back. Knitting these stitches through the back of the loop ensures that they won't be twisted in our fabric. So again, you're knitting through the back of the loop. At the end of the first round, you're ready to rotate again and continue on with your pattern. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a figure eight cast on. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your knitting friends. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for our you and me socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.